Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to work a little bit more with uh, associative array or uh, JavaScript objects. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, for each loop to loop through the array element, and I'm going to write a small program that actually can receive a string and tell us how many times a character has been repeated in the given string. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, do a loop through the uh, associative array I create. Associative array is called book, and uh, it simply has a few elements. Uh, one is title, the other one is author, next is ISBN, pages, and prices, right? Uh, so if I want to loop through this, I simply go ahead and use a for each loop and book, and I can simply go ahead and do console.log, just printing it for now. Book is the array, i is always the index of the array. So if it was a numerical array, i would be 0, 1, 2. In this case, i is going to be title, author, ISBN, pages, and price, right? So if I go ahead and do this, simply we'll print all the elements of these associated. So you go, when I refresh, simply you can see John Doe is repeated twice, ISPN is there, the number of pages is there, and uh, price is there as well. Well, I, I think this, this should be good enough for this video, just learning how to loop through the uh, associative array. It's just one more thing I want to specify. The other program I mentioned, uh, counting the number of characters, uh, repeat it in a string. I'll do it in another video. That way you can follow it better. But if I want to create a, a, a new associative array, let's say call it student, I can simply go ahead and remember to create, initialize this uh, array, I have to use curly bracket instead of square bracket. So I can simply go ahead and say student, uh, student, if I can write student, and I'll put uh, student ID as a label is equal uh, 123, 123, 123 is a number, or can be a string. Student name is John, right? So if I want to go ahead and uh, loop through this, I simply need the exact same loop. I can go ahead and copy this for each loop down here. And instead of saying in book, I can say in student, right? Let's see the result. So if I just go ahead and refresh my browser, should be able to see undefined. Well, let's see what is the reason. Oh, that's a problem with the copy paste. So this should be student, right? Let's go ahead, refresh the browser one more time and check the result. Here you go, I can get the student ID and the name of the student. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to watch the next video which explain how to write a program to count the number of character uh, in a string using uh, associative array. Uh, talk to you soon.